Hello and welcome to The Seven. Rangers are Scottish champions for the first time in a decade after Celtic drew with Dundee United this afternoon. Police have made a small number of arrests as fans gathered outside Ibrox and in Glasgow's George Square to celebrate. This is despite warnings from the Scottish Government to stay at home. Our sports news correspondent Chris McLaughlin has more. <coughs> Police in Dundee investigating the disappearance of a woman and her two-year-old daughter say they are now treating it as murder. A 50-year-old man has been charged in connection with the death of Benny Lynn Burke and her daughter Jellica, who were reported missing from the southwest of England last week. From Dundee, Andrew Anderson reports. Dundee. Nazarene Zaghari Ratcliffe, the British-Iranian woman jailed in Iran on spying charges, has been freed from house arrest as her five-year sentence came to an end. However, she must appear in court in Iran next Sunday on a different charge. Boris Johnson has called for her to be released permanently so she can be reunited with her family in the UK. The BBC's world affairs correspondent Caroline Hawley has this report. Business leaders are calling for an approach to easing lockdown that will help address what's been described as deeply scarring economic harm. Nicola Sturgeon has said she hopes to announce relatively minor but important changes to the restrictions on Tuesday. Our political correspondent Lindsay Buse reports. Now, Laura is here with the sport and a great night to be a Rangers fan, Laura. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Good evening. As we heard at the... And that's all your sport from me tonight. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Well, what's coming up on Seven Days? Here's Fiona and Nick to tell us. Coming. Ooh, it looks like we'll still need our umbrellas. Well, that's it from the weekend team. The Nine will be back tomorrow night with Rebecca and Martin. But for now, from us, enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Goodbye.